Hey there again, how's it going? More Street Fighter Alpha 2, let's see who I'm playing this time. I kind of know who I'm doing, so I'm just messing around and you know. Oh, there we go, Charlie! Um, I haven't played too much of Charlie, but you know what, I'm actually kind of surprised that I liked him. And I do like him, I'm a bit more partial to him than Guile. Let's see, and the first person I face is Ken. Yay. Um, so let's see who wins this one. Uh, Charlie was a decent character. I was actually kind of surprised. He's pretty cool. Um, you know, for being a blonde, douchebag, white, Caucasian male from the mil military uh, in the U.S. and all that good stuff. But hey, actually, he's, uh, he's actually pretty cool. And as uh, far as I am aware of, his homeboy is Guile, and this is, you know, his little placement representation in his role, so... And he kind of shares the same moves as Guile, too, and I'm kind of just, you know, messing with the buttons, figuring out his moves, all that cool stuff. Hmm. But he's alright, he's cool, uh, you know, for being a douchebag. Nothing against the military, either. Although, the only thing I do have against the military is that they did not accept me. They rejected me instead of, you know, offering me a role in the military. But hey, whatever. Yeah, I was reject. Oh, and I totally missed that. Whatever. So, yeah, they rejected me because I had too many surgeries. I can't even get a civilian role in the military. I just try to figure out his moves. I remember any of the moves I tried to do back in the day, like Guile's moves, and like in Super in Street Fighter 2, and Super Street Fighter 2, and you know whatever else games he was in. I always had difficulty pulling off his special moves, especially that kick, and it pissed me off. And as I noticed, I don't do it a whole lot in here either. I'm not quite sure if Charlie does that little Sonic Boom thing, whatever you know, with his arms where he does like little things. Uh, you know, similar. Okay. You've got talent. Uncle Sam could use you. Yeah. Alright. Alright, what's up with his hair? Whatever. They like to do some flamboyantly type shit. Oh, and Chun Li in China. They like to do some flamboyant type characters and, you know, models and, you know, art and whatever with the characters. But hey, that's cool. No problem. I ain't got no problem with that. That's cool. So yeah, fight, awesome, good stuff, um, so yeah, still kind of figuring out his moves, he's cool, he's alright, uh, so yeah, I'm just balancing my options here, I'm sure grandma wants me to stay here more often, so I'm thinking maybe if I can... Pull enough income, steady income, per month from this YouTube stuff. And I'll try setting up uh, my computer. I could probably set up my computer now. So I could actually have drive space. And all I'd have to do is, you know, transfer a couple files, a couple videos over to my netbook, and then I could record the audio. So I'm not quite sure how I'd be able to record and chop up the audio. Because it won't let me render the YouTube videos without being connected to the internet, so that's not cool at all. I wish I could figure that out. It would make things so much simpler. Because then if I could do that... I mean, if you know how to do this, if you know how to do the answer, I did a couple quick Google searches, but it didn't come up with any how to render YouTube-type video when offline. It's just like an MP4, but is it like a do certain things when it renders the video, I'm not sure, whatever, aside from being an MP4. Oh, are you always so slow? There we go, another taunt from Charlie. Um, so yeah, trying to figure that out and balance my options. Because if I could get some internet access over here and some, uh, and set up one of my computers, then I'd have definitely that definite access to do, you know, video games that are take up much more space, and I wouldn't have to continually be in a rush to, um, you know, record the gameplay, then record the audio, then go to McDonald's and sit there for any hours to render and then upload the video. If I could render it before I go out there, 
And then, you know, just sitting there and all I gotta do is upload shit and, you know, change tags, description, and, you know, the name or whatever. And all I have to do is, you know, click them monetize and range playlists and all that good stuff. It would save a whole lot of trouble and time. For right now, I'm just doing the best I can. And, you know, that's all I can really do. So... If you know the answer on how I could and render all that stuff and do it offline, that would be uh, great. That would be awesome. For the time being, I'm just doing what I can. Oh yeah, did I mention I'm using Camtasia Studio? Whatever, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh! Cool! And I kind of figured out his moves. That was a pretty badass combo. I was kind of impressed by that. Let's see. Oh, it's another same time. So anyway, um, yeah, I was actually kind of impressed. Uh, too bad I didn't pull off the combo completely, and too bad I did not finish him off with that combo. And I, then I would have had like some cool finish, whatever you name, you know, label that kind of finish. But hey, cool, whatever. Charlie's a cool character, and uh, look forward to be playing him again in the future after I've gone through all the other characters to play as. I'm trying to figure out who the first one I played as. I think Relento was my first test video. Maybe it was Ken. I think it was Relento. So, anyway. Um, yeah, look forward to more gameplay footage in the future, whenever that may be, whenever I get around to it. So I do plan to play through all the characters first before I start repeating any, any characters. Although I did repeat one character, as you'll see in the next, uh video of character people I play as, but whatever. Oh, and I beat Jen one time. Let's see how this all pans out, huh? Hmm. Oh, and he totally blocks it, and that fucked me up. Damn it. Whatever, right? At least I tried. I, I shot for it. I tried for it. Okay, it looks like uh, fight's coming to an end. Uh, thank you for watching and tuning in next time and all that good stuff. Uh, um, all the views and subscriptions and likes of the videos help me out a lot, and it's much appreciated, and I'm grateful for it. Oh, and it's another uh, same town again. So uh, see you next time. Bye.